welcome to its Rafiq. In today's video, we are going to discuss the practical question paper of class 9 computer science annual examination 2022. So the first question is we have to make a table on MS Access database that contain the following field item number, item name, item description, item color, item price and number of copies and data types are as no, first one number then rest three are text then last two are number. So let's go to MS Access. I have already opened MS Access. Then you will click on blank database. After clicking blank database, create options. On the create option, you should click. Then this window will appear. Then you will change the view to design then click on ok save the table name and here you will write the field name the first field name is item number so you will write item number next one is item name so item name then item description I think item description item color item price item description item color then item price and the last one is number of copies so we have done this now we will change the data type the first one will be number then rest three will be text we'll just just take short text uh, then the last two will take as a number after that we'll change the view to data sheet now it will ask me to save the table i'll save it now we have to enter records so one item name suppose i'm giving uh, smartphone item description like uh, 4GB RAM 64GB ROM etc item color blue item cost 13,999 number of copies 5 so this way you can add five record or five lines of information then your first question will finish now we will move to the next question next question is C programming this one we can close it now write a C program write and execute a C program to find the average of two numbers so First, we'll go to an online compiler because I have not installed code block here, so I'm going to do it in online compiler only. The first thing is to add header file. So we'll add header file include. STD IO dot H. Now we need a main function, so main int main now we'll add curly braces here we'll take two variable int a b and one float variable abz average now we'll take input print f enter to number then we will take the input by using scanf scanf and as i am taking two numbers so i will write two time percentage d and d is used for integers d again percentage d now the place where i am going to store and person 
a and again n percent b semicolon now we will write a b z equal inside bracket a plus b then d by 2 now we'll display the result so print f average equal percentage f because this one is a float number here we'll write a b g at last return 0 our program finished now let's run the program so you can see here ask me to enter two numbers 5 then 8 we are showing averages 6 5 plus 8 5 plus 8 it is 13 so oh, because my these two numbers are integer that's why it's showing is 13 now we'll move back to next question write and execute a C program to calculate the area of a circle so I am going to remove it all here we need very well as uh, float for radius r for area a now we'll take the radius from the user so print it enter radius now slash scan oh sorry scan it here we'll write percentage d not d f and stored in r and percent r now we'll go next line now here we'll calculate area area equal the formula is pi r square so 3.14 into r into r semicolon now we'll display the radius print f area equal percentage f not f percentage f then the location is uh, area after that semicolon and return 0 now let's run the program enter radius 7 let's see in full screen the output so area is 153.86 so this way we can do the second third question now third question again or option write and execute a C program to find the area of a rectangle in radius uh, for a rectangle we need three variable L B and A let's write the first part include std io dot h then int main then curly braces here we'll add the variable int land bread area now we'll take land and bread from the user print f enter the land Now we'll take the scanner percentage D because it is an integer and n person L. Then semicolon. First line also it has semicolon. Now we'll copy this line and it is useful B. Copy. Next line enter. Now here in place of line bread. and here in place of l b now we'll calculate the area so area 
equal L into B semicolon. Now we'll display the area so print F area equal percentage D and in comma area semicolon and return 0. Done. Now let's run the program asking me to enter the land suppose it is 7 bread 4 so it is 28 this is how we can find the area of a rectangle so these are the questions which came in Kamrup district's uh, computer science annual examination if you have any other question paper you can give it me I can solve it for you thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye